And as lifeguards perform their jobs, they may be able to save you from going under the water. But even after getting out of the pool, people, especially children, are not out of danger. As KXAN's Ignacio Garcia explains, children can still die due to what's called secondary drowning. Jake, come over here. And the one that has the goggles out here in the white. Phoebe and Crystal go swimming with their children almost every day during the summer. I, I watch them. Even if I'm not like directly in the water, I'm always watching what they're doing, making sure that they're safe. But doctors say parents should watch their kids even after they get home because of what's called secondary drownings. That's scary because you think of seeing them at the pool and having a trouble, but not when you get home. Take a listen to that. Dr. Bradley Berg with Baylor, Scott & White in Round Rock says secondary drownings primarily affects toddlers and children under 10 a few hours after they've been swimming. They start coughing. They start having more trouble breathing. It seems almost like an asthma attack. They can run a little low-grade fever. That's it's a real warning sign that you want to take them right into the emergency room to get them evaluated. And with swimming season here, parents say they've already learned their first lesson. To pay more attention when my kids, if they've choked on water and just don't let them go back home and go to sleep right, right after, even though they might seem tired, leave them up for a little bit. And avoid turning a fun day at the pool into tragedy. In Cedar Park, Ignacio Garcia, KXAN News. <laughs>